Good morning. Our gathering hymn today is number 550, 550. Here I am, Lord, 550. Gathering hymn number 550, Here I Am, Lord. I, the Lord of sea and sky, I have heard my people cry, O who dwell in dark and sand, my heart will say. I who made the stars of night, I will make the darkness white, who will bear my light to them, whom shall I sign? Here I am, Lord, is it Today is the Memorial of St. Rose of Lima, Virgin of our Church. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Dear friends, in order to worthily celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you came together the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, you set St. Rose of Lima on fire with your love. 
So it is secluded from the world in the austerity of a life of penance. She might give herself to you alone. Grant, we pray, that through her intercession, we may tread the paths of life on earth and drink at the stream of your delights in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, her Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The hand of the Lord came upon me and led me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me in the center of the plain, which was now filled with bones. He made me walk among the bones in every direction so that I saw how many they were on the surface of the plain, how dry they were. He asked me, son of man, can these bones come to life? I answered, Lord God, you alone know that. Then he said to me, prophesy over these bones and say to them, dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God to these bones, see, I will bring spirit into you that you may come to life. I will put sinews upon you, make flesh grow over you, cover you with skin and put spirit in you so that you may come to life and know that I am the Lord. I prophesied as I had been told, and even as I was prophesying, I heard a noise. It was a rattling as the bones came together, bone joining bone. I saw the sinews and the flesh come upon them, and the skin cover them, but there was no spirit in them. Then the Lord said to me, prophesy to the spirit, prophesy, son of man, and say to the spirit, thus says the Lord God, from the four winds come, O Spirit, and breathe into these slain that they may come to life. I prophesied as he told me, and the Spirit came into them. They came alive and stood upright, a vast army. Then he said to me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. They have been saying, Our bones are dried up, our hope is lost, and we are cut off. Therefore, Prophesy and say to them, Thus says the Lord God, O my people, I will open your graves and have you rise from them and bring you back to the land of Israel. Then you shall know that I am the Lord when I open your graves and have you rise from them. O my people, I will put my spirit in you that you may live and I will settle upon you upon your land. Thus you shall know that I am the Lord. I have promised and I will do it, says the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks, thanks be to God. Give thanks to the Lord, his love is everlasting. Give thanks to the Lord, his love is everlasting. Let the redeemed of the Lord say, those whom he has redeemed from the hand of the foe and gathered from the lands, from the east and the west, from the north and the south. Give thanks to the Lord, his love is everlasting. They went astray in the desert wilderness, the, the way to an inhabited city they did not find. Hungry and thirsty, their life was wasting away within them. Give thanks to the Lord, his love is everlasting. They cried to the Lord in their distress. From their straits he rescued them, and he led them by a direct way to reach an inhabited city. Give thanks to the Lord, his love is everlasting. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his mercy and his wondrous deeds to the women, the children of men, because he satisfied the longing soul and filled the hungry soul with good things. Give thanks to the Lord, his love is everlasting. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. 
Teach me your paths, my God. Guide me in your truth. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When the Pharisees heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together, and the one of them, a scholar of the law, tested him by asking, Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? He said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest in the first commandment. The second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. The whole law and the prophets depend on these two commandments. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Today is the memorial of St. Rose of Lima, known as Isabel in her, in her birth name. But because of her beauty, she was called Rose. At the center of attention, this beautiful girl grew up, but she chose to be a nun. And then in her life, she embraced poverty. She embraced chastity. And influenced by St. Catherine of Siena, in the book that has been written by this mystic, she has lived a life living out of the world, but living the very will of the loving Lord. In a very young age, she died at 31, but her influence had grew up into the world because of her holy life and the way and in the manner that she has put the choice to live God and embrace poverty. Our gospel is also aligned on the disposition of this saint, St. Rose of Lima. The question of Jesus about the greatest of all the commandment is not just simply rooted in charity and love. It is all rooted on how much can we give up worldly allurements for the sake of the kingdom of God. The modern times right now has been challenging us with many things and even the influence of what we call secularism, relativism, and all has been given into all of us, especially to our young ones. The choice is now based on the self. It's no longer the choice based on the will of God. In today's world, too, we continually pray about how do we transcend our own human life into something that is spiritual. Because when we believe in the Lord, we believe in grace, we rely in humility that even though how difficult it is to follow that path, we know that the grace of God would help us to live the impossible and fulfill His loving will. We continue to pray for strength. We continue to pray that goodness will arise above all, and may the world be consecrated once back again to holiness and God's love to the world would reign. To love a God and neighbor is the greatest of all the commandments. May we be known as Christians by our love. We pray to the loving Lord. May we show our love for God by loving our neighbors. For he who says, I love God, but hates his brother or sister is a liar. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May we show our love not in word or speech, but in deed and in truth. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May we show our love not only in extraordinary circumstances, but in day-to-day -day faithfulness to our duties and in our patience in bearing life's burdens. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. 
May we shun anger and hostility and resolve conflicts, problems, and differences through dialogue and mutual respect. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May health care workers who died while ministering to victims of infectious diseases receive the eternal reward for their self-sacrificing love. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For Mr. and Mrs. Jean Chris Sologo, for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the names and petitions written in our book of prayers, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Silently, we present our petitions to the Lord. We pray, Lord, Lord. Lord, our God, he who abides in you, abides in love. Help us to mirror your love by our faithful sacrificing and joyful love for one another. We ask this to Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our offertory hymn is number 526. Five, two, six, gift of finest wheat. You satisfy the hungry heart with your poverty's wheat. Come, give to us, O saving Lord, the bread of life. As when the shepherd calls his sheep, they know and need his voice. So when you call your family, Lord, we follow and rejoice. You satisfy the hungry heart. sing to you our praise and gratitude that you should count us worthy Lord to share this heavenly good you satisfy the hungry heart with gift of finest we Come, give to us, O saving Lord, the bread of life to eat. Pray, may the brethren may sacrifice and yours be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we proclaim the wonders of the Lord in the Virgin, Blessed Rose of Lima, we humbly implore your majesty that as her merits are pleasing to you, so too our dutiful service may find favor in your sight. To Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven. It is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original wholeness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promised in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like to do fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took the bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. You have set us Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, that by taking of the body and blood of Christ, we gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Barry, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to become co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, honored as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the fate of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him that takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Let us pray. Renew. 
by the partaking of this divine gift, we pray, O Lord our God, that by the example of your blessed rose of Lima, bearing in our body the death of Jesus, we may strive to hold fast to you alone, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our holy message has been offered in the go in the peace and love of Christ. Thanks be to God. Our ascending fourth hymn is number 479. 479 Christians. Let us love one another. Verses 1 and 6. Christians, let us love one another as we share the true living bread. Jesus is our God and our brother. With his flesh and blood we are fed. Everyone who loves is born of God. Jesus is our life, God is love. Jesus is a vine, we the branches. We are green, the wheat, Christ the bread. Those who eat this bread live for heaven. One with Christ our Lord and our head. Everyone who loves is born of God. Jesus is our life. God is love. 